this is what the coveralls look like coming straight out of the package. This one's a triple extra large. It's my size. I'm six foot six and it covers me from my neck down to my ankles. Open it up here and see it's pretty big. And they're soft enough. You don't have to worry about scrunching it up and putting it in a pack or having it make any kind of noise. In fact, to begin with, getting it good and wrinkled up will work fine. In fact, it's actually better if it is wrinkled up to start up with. First step is to crumple it into a cardboard box. This one's about 24 by 20 inches and I cut it down to about 7 inches high. All the box does is keep the suit crumpled up when you put it inside. Once you've got the suit in the box, the next step is to get out some spray paint. This is a satin blue, kind of a sky blue, because my thoughts on it are if a deer is looking up into a tree, the background color is either blue or mottled blue and white. So you just take the can of spray paint once you've got it shaken up real well and just start spraying. Now you're probably thinking that's a whole lot of blue. Well, and from what you can see, it actually is until you pull it out. And then you see how much of the suit you actually covered. So what I do then is just put it back in the box and kind of bury the parts that are already blue or whatever color you're starting with last one I started out with gray because I wanted to make a snow pattern, which is what originally gave me the idea to use these suits, is because they're white. As you can see, the more spray spraying I do, the more color you get into it. I'll stand up wind. These are just Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. These are the three colors of green that I've got. And I'm going to start with the lightest one. The colors I'm these green colors are Eden, Light Leafy Green, and Hunt Club Green. And like I said, it's Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch, if it makes any difference. With these, you just pretty much. With these, you just want to paint blotches.
interesting. For the second color, this is the leafy green, which is a little bit darker. This is just a espresso brown and next step would be to paint stencil tree branches. For the stencils, all I've used here is a cornflake box or any cereal box. Pizza boxes work great. You just draw your tree branch outline and cut the inside of the line so you have branches. stencil or anywhere you want. Advantage of doing it over the grass is that when the grass grows you cut all the nice pretty colors out of the grass. And after the brown is done, I just fill in some more branches that are a little finer with black. I'm just going to fill in some darker green spots with uh, Hunt Club Green.
for leaf stencils, what I did was I took oak, tree, oak leaves, laid them on a couple of old file folders, and sprayed around them. And I'm going to cut out the outlines, and you could put clumps of leaves on the suit, just one leaf at a time. File folders work great. They're stiff enough to make a good stencil, and yet you can cut through them real easy. Like I said, this is a triple extra large because of my size, and it's up to my neck right now and dragging on the ground, and I'm 6'6". Six, six. And there's how the front turned out, and I still have to finish the back, but you get the idea of what they can look like. There's the snow camo version that I mentioned earlier. It's basically just solid what the original solid white with gray background and uh, brown and black branches. Here's what this one looks like. I may put clumps of oak leaves on it, I may not, because around here in the winter, oaks are about the only trees that will retain some of their leaves throughout the season. And as far as packing them in, you can crumple them up, spray them down with uh, scent killer, and roll it up and put it inside a gallon Ziploc bag, and when you get to where you're going, slip it on and go up the tree. I want to thank you for watching and I hope the, this gives you some good ideas for making yourself some do-it-yourself camouflage. One advantage this has is that you can actually go out to your stand site, take a picture of what the tree looks like from below and attempt to copy it. Hopefully it will give you a deer this year.